Hey everybody, I wanted to get on here and do a little tutorial video on um, mounting the AGM adder that is included with the American Defense mount. Um, this is a great quality one piece mount. Uh, AGM includes American Defense mounts with all of their optics. Uh, it's a great added value. Um, but this American Defense mount is a little different design than a lot of people are used to seeing. Um, it uses a clamshell design. So the rings, the rings clamp this way instead of your traditional um, rings that have a top and a bottom section. The bottom section's attached to the, uh, to the mount, such as, you know, a design like this. This is what most people are used to seeing. Uh, most people know how to mount with this, um, and this design is a little bit different. Um, so I'll show you the, uh, one of the reasons that they use this design is these are almost um, self-centering or self-aligning, you could say, so the rings don't require any lapping or anything. Um, but I'll show you, I'll show you the proper way to do this. So the first thing, um, that I like to do is to actually fit this mount to your rail. Um, and you do that by, with the levers open on the mount, you'll take and you'll push this nut out the backside and you can tighten that nut and loosen that nut to change the tension on the rail. So I like to go ahead and separate these, um, separate these rings. So we'll go ahead and we'll take, take these apart here. Try to do this where it's on camera, but I'm just separating these ring halves. And you can do this, you can do this, you can fit this clamp to your rail prior to doing this. I just, uh, I just usually go ahead and separate these to get them out of the way uh, because they've gotta, they've gotta come off anyways. So then at that point, you're left with this. And it's just a little bit, it's just a little bit easier to handle. Um, at this point, it doesn't really matter exactly where you're mounting this on the rail. You're just fitting this. So you'll close these levers and like that one feels a little loose and that one feels a little loose. So what we'll do is we will, we'll open these levers, push this nut. I hope you can see that on the camera. Um, push this nut out the backside and we'll tighten them a little bit. We'll tighten and then put it back on there. And now these levers feel like they have good, good tension closing. Now, obviously if that was too tight, you know, push it out and loosen it. Um, another thing that you'll want to do when you, when you make, when you put this on there for the final time on the bottom here, these are your recoil lugs that go in these slots. So before you clamp it down, you'll want to push this mount forward against those recoil lugs, bottom those out against the recoil lugs, and then clamp them down. Um, that you'll wanna do that whenever you put it on there uh, for the final time. So now, once we have these, once we have these levers set and we've got good clamping uh, tension, now we can go ahead and put the optic in the rings on the mount. Um, and this is, this is the part that is a little bit, a little bit tricky or cumbersome, um, but I'll put these these sections here that have that have the little peg on them. We'll call these the backside. Go ahead and put those on, and then I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and lay the optic in. So I've got half of it done. And at this point, um, you're just, you're just putting the optic in there. Um, go ahead and lay, lay this side on and just get these, just get these screws started. That's all you're doing is getting them started. 
trying to do all this to where it's on on camera let me flip it around here but we're just getting these started okay and we'll put the other one on We're just going to do these loose where the optical still move. Okay, so. So now the optic, the optic is in the mount. Um, you can move it forward and backwards. Um, so at this point, um, we're going to want to level, level the rifle and mark level so we can get the scope mounted level on the gun. Um, now, not everybody's going to have one of these, but uh, this is what I use, and there's other ways you can do it. Um, you know, you can just simply take a, you know, torpedo level, get the gun, get the gun level, you know, mount the optic on it. The only thing is you're not going to be able to move the gun because once you have the, the optic on here, you're not going to have a nice level spot. So, I've got the gun level. Now, I'm going to mark the gun or the uh the gun so i can remove that level so i've got this one clamped on there go ahead and zero out the bubble okay so now now i've got the gun marked level i can go ahead and move this and that way if the gun moves during the mounting procedure i always have a i always have a level mark to go back to so i've got the gun level now i'm going to want to clip the optic the mount onto the gun and we've already got the levers set here and i usually i usually just center this up in the mount i mean you have you have plenty of adjustment on the rail so you know there's really no reason to have this buried one way or the other get this back level now you can put a level on top of the scope and get the scope level. Um, now, this is a part that is kind of unique to the American Defense Mount, but you will want to, you'll want to tighten the bottom ring sections first prior to tightening the top. Um, and, you know, I always like to get the tops, you know, take some of the slack out, a lot of the slack, just so it's not flopping around. But the, uh, the torque spec on these screws are 20 to 25 inch pounds. Again, that's inch pounds, not foot pounds. Um, so 20 to 25 inch pounds, I use one of these little inch pound torque drivers. Um, and that's no Loctite on there. You don't wanna use Loctite. Loctite, Loctite can give a false uh, torque reading. It acts as a lubricant whenever it's wet. So. Um, it'll actually give you false torque readings, so no Loctite on those. So we'll set the uh, torque wrench to 25 inch pounds, and we'll make sure the optic is level, and we will go ahead and, and tighten these bottoms. Now, I'll tighten um, until I feel resistance, you know, until it's snug, and go to the next one, and then tighten until I feel it's snug or some resistance, go to the next one and at that point you know I can still level the optic we'll make sure the gun the gun is level and the optic is level okay go ahead and tighten a little more tighten tighten I'm doing these I'm doing these one at a time you want to watch your level to make sure it's not pulling. Um, one thing with these clamshell rings, it doesn't really seem to pull the optic like a traditional when you're tightening from the top. A lot of times when you're tightening from the top, you'll tighten this one and it'll pull the optic one way or the other. So these don't really seem to do that. Um, I've got all these snug. Now I'm going to want to go ahead and torque these 25 inch pounds until it clicks. Okay, and now I'm going to want to go to the top 
and tighten the top. And again, um, I'm gonna tighten the first one until I feel some resistance. Go to the next one until I feel some resistance. And basically, you're, you're just wanting to keep everything even, you know, instead of bottoming out one screw and then going to the next, going to the next. Um, so tighten until I feel some resistance. Okay, and then we'll go back through and then we'll actually hit our torque limit. Okay, and then we'll go just double check these. Um, they're all still good. Okay, then we'll check level on the gun. Okay, the bubble on the gun is level and the bubble on the optic is level. So now we know they agree with each other. Um, now, when you get done, you will have a slight gap in the top of these rings and that's completely normal. So, you know, don't think that that's, that's unnormal. Um, but that's really, that's really all there is to it. Uh, but you just want to make sure that you torque the bottom ring sections first. Um, if not, you know, with that, the way that peg's made in the bottom, you could get some movement there, but you do it this way and uh, you shouldn't have any problems at all. So I just get some customers ask every once in a while, uh, the proper way to do this, since this is a different design, some people haven't seen. Uh, so I just wanted to put out a little short video. Um, I like to put these videos out for my customers, um, you know, whenever I sell them an optic. Uh, I've got a zeroing video out on the adder and whenever I sell them an optic, a lot of times I can send them these little tutorials on how to do things um, and they can just, you know, replay them whenever they're mounting. So, um, otherwise, as always, uh, if you have questions or anything, feel free to reach out. It's 812-686-3571. Thanks.